This 16-year-old female red yet slider can't seem to swim straight. And why is it ignoring all its food? Find out how the vet diagnosed and treated this problem. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Tupayo Vets. This video is about a red yet slider who swims lopsided. August 25th, 2018. This 16-year-old female red yet slider came in with a complaint of not eating for more than two months, and when placed in a tub of water, it swam lopsided. According to the owner, the terrapin also did not defecate since the 6th of August, where it passed out a smelly yellow substance. Additionally, the terrapin's bottom shell was soft, and its skin was inflamed. The vet then used various means to diagnose the cause of these problems. The vet used an x-ray to check for irregularities in the terrapin's body. This is a photo of a normal healthy terrapin's x-ray. And this is the x-ray of the sick Ridyard slider. As you can see, there's a lot of radiodense material inside the right side of the slider. As the slider is not gasping for breath, and is able to defecate, drink, and spew air bubbles, it is deduced that the respiratory and alimentary systems are normal. The mass is likely to be inside the right uterus due to rotten eggs not being laid out, which explains the yellow substance being passed out. This yellow substance is probably the yolk from the eggs. The vet then determined what treatment and procedures were necessary to ensure the terrapin's survival. Feeding 3-6 to six times a day by syringe to prevent malnutrition and death is being done for the next 14 days. In these syringes contains antibiotics, pellets and critical care. This is a video of the syringe feeding of the terrapin. As of day 6, the red yet slider has become more active but is losing weight despite syringe feeding at least 3 times per day. She has a normal pink tongue and is still not eating. This video was created from day 1 to day 6. There is a chance of the slider recovering provided she is syringe fed with critical care, multivitamins and antibiotics to prevent malnourishment and death. This is a video of the slider on day 6. Okay, let's see whether it's swimming upside down. Is it very bad? Today is August 31st, 2018. Yeah, he still swimming upside down. But he's definitely much better. Better in the sense he can bubble, you see, he, has, he can blow bubbles. That means his respiratory tract is not infected. And uh, this lopsided is due to the right, right side of the uterus being uh, filled with those infected, sticky, yellow, rotten egg mass. Now today, Tamara is more active, you can see that. Nah? It, she, she puts her head up. Now give one pellet, see she eats or not. Do you take from inside? Any other pellets? Pull, pull, pull back a bit, push back a bit, a bit, a bit back towards the pellets. There are more pellets there. Normally, if they have appetite, they will eat, they will jump to it. Yeah. They will swim towards it and and uh, bite the pellets. Uh. Well, at least it's more active now. The 16 year old, red year slider, not eating for two months. Uh, eggs have been laid before, and the owner has seen the eggs. But now today it looks like she's swimming put further back here. Definitely there's some improvement after intensive strange feeding, critical care, pellets, 
multivites, antibiotics, anti-inflammatory, you can really see progress in the sense that she's really swimming. Swimming, but still has no appetite yet. How many days already? Check, check, check with Judy. So today, August 31st, 2018, definitely shows activity, but still no appetite, no natural eating on her own. We are giving her some sun again, about two hours of sunshine. And uh, you see the lopsidedness, she still swim lopsided on tilting to the right hand side, not fully recovered. So, only good news for the owner is that she is more active. Day six. Day six, yeah. Day six of intensive treatment. And uh, another 10 days more, if all goes well, she should at least be able to eat her own and put on weight. And this is a video of the mouth examination done on day six. 31st, August 2018. Okay, okay 31st, yeah. Now, we need to open the mouth to see, but the best is don't block my videoing, to see the tongue color. Uh, okay, this is how she does it, you see there? Open, go further in. Okay. Okay, my intern is seeing how, how we do it now. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Uh. We see what the tongue color, where it's inflamed or not? As much as possible, open up bigger. Uh, see, see, my assistant knows what to do. Lower down a bit, let me see the tongue. Too high up, I cannot see. Uh, now, towards the light, it seems to be there's no light there. There's no light. So then, that, uh, uh, okay, bigger, bigger. Oh, that's good. But I need I need the light light face the light tilt a bit tilt 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 up a bit tilt up a bit no correct correct we got it so hold hold properly uh, ah very good there's no bleeding no ulcers and uh, it looks quite pink and not dehydrated some more down a bit I see the back ah uh, I can see now the tongue is very pink and there's no bleeding and no ulcers. So, so it's in good good condition now. It, it came here with very red tongue and uh, there was an ulcer on the top of the tongue. Let me see the top of the tongue, you can't see now. Uh, down a bit, down a bit, down a bit, down a bit the head, down, down some more. It seems that we can't see the inside. Okay, anyway, I have taken some photos. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit topayovets.com or call or email these contacts 0700-222-2000.